Yo, yo, I'm getting like whiplash from this movie. It's <laughs> David Copperfield. <laughs> Hello, so my name is Phil, this is my wife Erica, and we're going to be watching a bunch of rom-coms. Uh, we both have very different contrasting feelings about rom-coms. Uh, how do you feel about rom-coms? They are. They're <laughs> fun, they're fun, but like I... Yeah, exactly. So I love rom-coms, I mean I'm unashamedly like a fan, I'm a pretty soft guy in that respect, but uh, she's never been a fan of them, thinks they're corny and... Okay, uh, well, no, there are some classic ones that I do <laughs> like, but yeah. there are moments in rom coms where I'm just like, all right, let's just move it along. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I like them. Yeah, so I mean, we'll, we'll see. Um, then essentially, what we did was we found uh, a bunch of articles online. Uh, this one was from The Ringer, and it was like the top 50 rom coms of all time. And we're gonna work our way through them and react to them. And uh, whether or not this actually has an audience. It's not really about that. It's about us having fun and doing something we would have been doing anyway and seeing where it goes. So uh, basically at the beginning of every one of our videos, uh, we're going to be spinning a huge wheel with all of these uh, rom-coms on them. And uh, we're gonna see and find out what we're gonna watch on the night of and kind of go from there. So uh, hope you enjoy and we will see you in the reaction. Cheers. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I was like, oh, we just watched this. <laughs> Crazy okay. Rich Asians. Yeah. Okay, Harold, Harold and Maude. And we'll, we'll remove this one. Have you seen Harold and Maude? <laughs> Excuse me. No, I have no idea. Have you even heard of it? No. Okay, I've heard of it. I've never seen it. Um, so we'll see. So it's older. Yeah, 1971 ish. Okay. From the cover, it looked like a cartoon. It's not a cartoon, I guess. <laughs> or was that just my eyesight? <laughs> no, no, I think early, early, like early days, they used to like, oh, illustrate yeah. a lot of covers, right? Oh! Okay. Okay. This is a rom com, right? <laughs> no screen? What? <laughs> Calling Batman. Mm -hmm. What is this movie? <laughs> sent away and now I was like oh, okay she gonna give him chores 
couldn't get a job. Who's he betrothed to? <laughs> Brother, by the help of your grace, may he escape the sentence which he deserves for doing <laughs> his earthly life. Appropriate response. He signed the seal of the Holy Trinity. Do you know Harold? Harold Chosen? Oh, how do you do? I'm Dame Marjorie Shardell, but you may call me more. How do you do? Nice to meet you. Well, thank you. I'm going to be great friends, don't you? <laughs> Jeez! Can you say something? I have here, Harold, the form sent out by the National Computer Dating Service. They screen out the fat and the ugly, oh so it's obviously a broken high standards. <laughs> First, here is the personality interview, which you are to fill out and return. Now then, are you ready, Harold? Like, oh, yes. Absolutely. he just... Yes. Does your in personal there? religion or philosophy yeah, include a life after death? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Do you find the idea oh, of your swapping distasteful? I even find the question distasteful. Do you enjoy oh, no. Harold, Do you have ups and downs like without wolf at this point? reason? <laughs> That's you, Harold. <laughs> Hello, Harold. Can I give you a lift? Oh, there you are, madam. Were you not the lady who drove my car off yesterday? Was that the one with the St. Christopher medal on the dashboard? Yes. Then I suppose it was me. Get in, Captain. You hop in any car you want and just drive off. Well, not any car. I like to keep for variety. Mm -hmm. I was looking for the new experience. Some people get upset because they feel they have a hold on some things. I'm merely acting as a general reminder. Here today, you're going tomorrow, so don't get attached to things now. Your mother tells me, Harold, that she's mm -hmm. arranging several dates for you with some young ladies. How do you feel about that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he seems very nice. Oh, thank you. Must have been very funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Harold! Oh, yes, dear, here is Harold now. Harold! Oh. He's just a magician. <laughs> Misdirection. Walter Cronkite. I mean, it feels like a haunted house. It did seem like someone was in there, though. Whoa, no. Mm -mm. What? It's not the first time he broke the curtain. Really? Yeah, remember the pool? Well, after this. Oh, yeah, after. I don't know about that. So every time he tries to kill himself, he looks at us. Not every time. Do you disapprove? Me? No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. It is that movie. <laughs> Do you think it's wrong? Yes. Hmm. Uh, what do you think? So she's just like an eccentric oh, no, artist. No, no, no. Really get close and, really and reach in and feel. Isn't it careful? Uh, well, uh, stroke, palm, caress, explore. <laughs> yeah, we know. She's walking away. She's just like. She's horny. She's definitely horny. This feels. <laughs> this feels like I shouldn't be watching. I know. <laughs> I feel so uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> what? Here we are. Try something new each day. After all, we're given life to find it out. It doesn't last forever. That's good. You look as if you could. <laughs> well, there's no question. My body's giving out. I'm well in the water. It's all going to be over after Saturday. Uh, think about yourself. What do you do when your aunt visiting? Did she think it was all going to be over by Saturday? Mm -hmm. Like her life? I don't know. I like to watch things grow. Wow. The yeah, exact opposite. They grow and bloom and fade and die and change into something else. 
What flower would you like to be? I don't know. Hmm? One of these, maybe? Said, I don't Why know. do you say that? Because they're all alike. Oh, but they're not. Look, see. Some are smaller, some are fatter. Some grow to the left, some to the right. Some even have lost some petals. All kinds of observable differences. You see, Harold, I feel that much of the world's sorrow comes from people who are this. Yeah. Allow themselves to be treated as that. Talking mm -hmm. well, gems. Oh, uh, thank you. I don't drink. Oh, it's all right. It's organic. <laughs> it has no nutritional <laughs> it consistency. It is not really a human trait. What is that? Consistency is not a human trait. Oh, that's my umbrella. That's wow. just a relic. I found it when I was packing to come to America. It used to be my defense on picket lines and rallies and political meetings. Dragged off by the police and attacked by thugs what in the opposition. What is her life? You don't use your umbrella anymore. No more revolts. Mm hmm. Oh, oh yes. Oh, every day. But I don't need the defense anymore. I embrace. Mm -hmm. Still fighting for the big issues. But now in my small individual life. She's so yep. interesting. No. Mm -hmm. There's so much there. Older movies are really good at capturing mm -hmm. complex characters like, mm -hmm. like this. Uh, <clears throat> first time was when I was at boarding school in the chemistry lab. Uh, there was this massive explosion. It knocked me down and blew out a huge hole in the floor. There was uh, boards and bricks and flames leaping up. I went home. My mother was giving a party, so I just went right up the back stairs into my room. The doorbell rang. I went out to the banister, and uh, these two policemen came in. I found my mother and uh, told her that I was killed in the fire. She put one hand up to her forehead, the other she reached out as if groping for support, and this long sigh, she collapsed. You just got addicted to that feeling? Mm, the feeling of being missed, maybe? Maybe it's the first time you actually felt loved? Loved, uh, cared about by his mom. Yeah. <laughs> I decided back then that I enjoyed being dead. I understand a lot of people enjoy being dead, but they're not dead, really. They're just backing away from life. Reach out, take a job, get hurt even. Play as well as you can. Go, team. Go! Give me an L. Give me an L. Give me a B. Give me an E. L-I-V-E. Interesting. Well. Breaker? Yeah. I like you, Mother. I like you, Al. Now, Barley was very big last week. Fifteen hundred. Mm. Bro. <laughs> by your uncle. Consequently, I have instructed him forthwith to induct you into the service. But the army takes care of you. Man's got swag though. I mean, money for <laughs> That's life. what I'm saying. I mean, money's money. <laughs> Good idea coming out here, Harold. It's a lovely spot. They say this country has been too harsh hey, in its outright condemnation of war. <laughs> He's so enthralled with the story. And I slipped into <laughs> one death. consciousness. Wow, that's a terrific story, sir. Well, you'll 
the stories like that to tell of your own someday, Harold. Turn it out. Well, how about souvenirs? Souvenirs? Of you killed. Eyes, ears, nose, scalp, privates. Harold! Hey! What would be the chance of getting one of these? Huh? Boy, to think I could maybe make my own. Harold, that's yeah. disgusting! Hey, finally, yeah. What? <laughs> Yo, what? Uh, I am particularly. Oh. Oh. No. Maybe this is planned. Wait, what? That water is so still. He's <laughs> <laughs> you make me feel like a schoolgirl. <laughs> Attitude is. Oh my gosh, this movie's really good. <laughs> like in a second, in a second, we're like, wow. You sure have a way with people. Well, they're my species. They're my species. Yeah. These stars. Is that a ring? Harold loves more. Coin. Yeah. Yeah, like that point. And Lord loves that. Bro. <laughs> so I always know where it is. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Yo. Yeah, that'll that'll stick oh. with me. I could imagine a lovely farewell. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well. Yes, it's my eightieth birthday. Oh, here we go. Well, you're not going anywhere. Here we go. Are you? Yes, dear. I took the tablets an hour ago. Oh my gosh. I love you. I love you. Oh hell. Love. Go and love. 
I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting this. Oh, but that sucks though, that that's, that's his last... Is that a spending... That last day together, you know, just... Giving her the surprise that he had prepared for her. It was spent in the hospital. I'm sure that's, she, not, that's probably not how she imagined herself ending either. And she she did tell him, like we all, we heard it. Yeah. Oh my gosh! What? <coughs> Yo, I'm getting like whiplash from this movie. <laughs> wow, you know why I, en I enjoyed this rom com? Why? Now, now I'm really looking forward to the older rom com movies because there's way more depth. <laughs> Yeah. And complexity that I really enjoy versus the rom coms that I like kind of scoff at because it's like, come yeah. on, man. That's interesting. Yeah, I, I, but, I didn't. Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. No, like they didn't even delve into the number on her arm. It's no, just like, like, that was enough. Yeah. And then it just makes you fall in love with her even more, yeah. admire her even more. I always appreciate that in like in films, like where they don't like they they let you like they they don't insult you by kind of explaining everything. They're just like they you're smart enough to figure this out to yeah. make that connection. Yeah. And that's like that was such a big moment. And it was like literally like like two seconds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it was like enough to be like Wow. To connect all the dots of why is she like this and like it's crazy. Yeah, it adds like a whole another layer of significance to like the way their she story. This. Yeah. Yeah, her character, but specifically their um yeah, their relationship and the relation not just them as people, but obviously what we picked up on that she was life, he was death, and the fact that she was still life after what she experienced. And, and, like, she, she didn't even, um, it didn't even seem like she grieved her life or grieved the end of their relationship or, no. it was like, that's wonderful, like, you know, you've gotten to this point now, just continue on now. Continue to love, continue to love. Do, do you think that that relationship was significant to her in terms of like i know i was wondering that too because actually. like it's it feels like it wasn't it feels like like it's just you know what she did in her life she like m made sure that people appreciated life and continued on but it wasn't like doing anything for her mm -hmm. and i, I like I, I honestly don't feel like it was doing anything for her i think it was i think it was just a part of her cycles of enjoying life like, oh, this is happening right now, mm. you know, just so nonchalant about it. She's having fun. She's enjoying herself. She loves him. And that's that's enough. But obviously, it's a way more weight for Harold because yeah. this is, like, the first time he's ever experienced anything like that before. Yeah. Those feelings. Um, very profound feelings. And he's so young. So it's just the start of his life, whereas she's obviously experiencing things. <laughs> yeah. It's like good. in 80 <laughs> years, she's she's experienced more in 80 years than all of And yeah, she <laughs> she alluded to it a little bit, right? Like kingdoms falling, protesting, and obviously. I didn't even. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I need to watch this movie again, and then I'm gonna pick up so, on some of the things that she says. 
Yeah, that would be interesting. We're just kind of like, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. And she says it with like, obviously there are like, like obviously she's lived through it, but she says it with, I don't know. It's like another, like she's resilient, obviously, mm -hmm. just from what she went through. Yeah. She could be suicidal and I would still think she's resilient, but the fact that she is living her life this way and has this perspective is like a, like the pinnacle of resilience and still mm. choosing to live with the perspective that she did and she's obviously like yolo <laughs> she stole cars and... well yeah well i mean i think a lot of that had to do with like she had a deadline when she knew yeah. that like there's no consequence now yeah that's true right like i think maybe if, if it wasn't so close maybe there would be a different mm. type of mentality but, but the timing and yeah. Wait, but she pursued him. She did, but... Knowing her deadline. But so... I, at the same time, like, I don't think it was... Like, in her mind, I don't think it's that... It's the same kind of thing. It's just kind of like she sees a lost soul and be yeah. like... Hey, like, if this is, like, the last time that I have, let me just do this one more time. Like, I feel like the, the way that I, I, I took it, it's like... She's done this multiple times mm -hmm. with multiple people. Mm -hmm. Just kind of enlighten them and... Like, okay, like, our, our time, like, our chapter is done. Live. Like, mm -hmm. that was her big thing, right? L-I-V-E. And now it's just kind of like, cool. Move on. So I feel like that was just, like, another chapter for her. It just happened to be the final one for her. Mm -hmm. That's just kind of what she did. Mm -hmm. I like that that was consistent about her character. Mm -hmm. even that it when... wasn't, like, at the end, she wasn't, like, sad about it. She yeah. was still choosing to be happy and see the glass half full and everything. Because even Not when even glass half full, her like glass was always full. overflowing. Yeah. I mean, I love when movies take you through this journey of like, because in the beginning, obviously we're like, to us it did not make any sense. Yeah, it's kind of unraveling layers. <laughs> Until he explains layers. his story, yeah. which is always the case, right? I'll be honest, like I I still don't fully understand the the fascination behind, you know, continuing to do it, especially if. She never gave, like, her mother, his mother, never gave the reaction again. I got, yeah, it's hard for me to just understand. Like, it, like it, was it something deeper than just that reaction? Or... Maybe he was just chasing it. Yeah. Like, the first high is always going to be the best, I mm. think. So I was just trying always... to replicate that. Yeah. But yeah, but so... How is he so good at it? That's the thing <laughs> that I'm like, how did he hate? Like, how is that? Is that physically possible? Think about it. You're hanging. Your weight of your body is bringing you down. And he's he's not even holding on to the noose. He's just... Yeah. Oh, I know the how way that they that do that even... in movies. It's like, it's like reinforced around the neck. Like, there's like some sort of harness. Fine. But like, I don't know. Yeah, but, but, but like imagine like if, if that's something that you're like truly addicted to or if it's something that you really oh, like yeah, you, you, you think about It'll ways to do it. Art. Yeah. yeah, it's just kind of like, oh, cool. Okay, I'm meeting somebody like I can like let me pull up a playbook. Performance, yeah. <laughs> like which one can I play? And it's like I've been meaning to try this one. Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of like, but yeah, I don't know. No, it's 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 it's. It's sad, obviously, but like, wh where does he end up? Like, he's obviously in pain after Maud passes away, in like a pretty tragic way, in a pretty like traumatic way. Like, where? What do you think is going on in his mind, in his like psyche, after that? Because like, I he's think dancing. He's ready. No, yeah, I think he's ready to move on. He move on from he what? He threw like that to start living life. He threw the hearse. He killed the hearse. Yeah. Like death is. Like, in, in my mind, like, I saw that as, yeah, it's like symbolism for he's done with that mindset now. Mm -hmm. And he's ready to, like, pick up the banjo. He's playing music now. He's moving on. Um, yeah. But, but why? Is it just kind of to honor what she was teaching him? Yeah, or... I think so. And I'm sure, not just to honor her, but I'm sure he's learned a lot. Yeah. Like, in that experience, like, he's so young. If he could experience that kind of love and joy and happiness. Moving forward. Yeah, then, yeah. you know, the rest of his life, who knows? 
feel like it would, it would be so hard to disconnect from just the pain of that. Like, he was getting married. He was like, yeah. I finally found love. And I found someone that can understand me. That I can, like, tell my story to. <laughs> what? Like, it's like anyone's first relationship that doesn't work out. Right? I guess, but like... If you're talking about holding on to, you know, your first... Love, first person that you can be vulnerable with. But this is like with, a death, with. you know? Like, especially with someone that's so obsessed with death. It, it, it's hard for me to make that cognitive jump to be like, so. I'm but, okay now. But think about why he was obsessed with death. Hmm. Because he never had love. Yeah, and now he has and that now part. He had, yeah, now he's finally experienced that. Overall? I'm sure I'll still process it. Like, <laughs> It'll take some time. Yeah. Me too. I, I, wanna, I, I do want to rewatch it specifically for the reason of like, just paying attention to mod. Even the makeup and like... Yeah. If I watch it again, I'm just thinking back to it, like even what he was wearing. Like he became he brighter. lighter. Yeah. yeah, he got brighter. Yeah, and right. less... I don't know if it was just because of the contrast of his clothes and his skin. Or if they just, you know... Obviously he was wearing makeup, like he was very yeah, yeah, yeah. pale. But... Yeah, later on he looked more and more less Adam's family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> one, one thing that is interesting, and it definitely changes as we get into the more modern ones, like literally everyone else was one dimensional. It's mm -hmm. all about these two characters yeah. and their relationship. Yeah. Like the mother had no arc, the uncle, the uncle yeah. never grew. So it's like, it's literally like they're just background. And you're meant to focus on these two, whereas like in more modern ones, it's like everybody has context, and I think that helps. But I don't know. This 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 was really really effective too, and I, I didn't think I would like that. Well, this obviously there's a deeper story behind it. Like this yeah. isn't just about a love story, like guy meets girl or vice versa. Very, and very like and but... they have like you know a love story. Like it's very superficial. A lot of it's more entertainment. This is like. Wow, like this is a love story that makes you think about like wh like after this movie I'm like I need to live life more. Oh, yeah. I need to take Mod's advice and you know just. But one of the interesting like like literally the la one of the last things that they do in their relationship, or at least that they show, mm -hmm. is the physical, right? The entire mm -hmm. time like 80, 90 percent of it is them building that emotional connection, whereas like yeah. it's kind of flipped on the other side, or like if at all like, like they even touch the emotional side and like that development, but it's like they connected intimately like throughout like 90 percent of the film mm -hmm. without even being like physical mm -hmm. and i think that's something that you don't ever see wow. right so i think that's really cool and that person's like Dang, go live that's a good movie <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Ooh, so as we're good. talking about it I'm like oh okay that's so good we started off on a good note like i, I, I wasn't sure i was not expecting that because <laughs> rom-coms i always i think Notting Hill, we were almost gonna watch Crazy Rich Asians, like yeah, those, yeah, yeah. like, you know, very, it's just entertainment. It's not very thought provoking. Yeah. Like, this, like I'm this. sure when we watch, whatever, I just use Notting Hill because I really don't like that movie. <laughs> but I'm sure when we watch Notting Hill. Now we're watching that next, I'm sure. <laughs> like, that's gonna pop up. I'm gonna be like, uh, <laughs> next. Not next, but I mean, I mean, we're gonna watch it, but. Yeah. yeah, it's not going to be this. It's not gonna, we're not going to have this kind of conversation. Who knows? Convers Who knows? Yeah, like, maybe, 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 maybe new things will kind of pop up. Like, that's why we're doing this. It's part of why we're doing this. Sure. We'll see. <laughs> that's kind of wrapping up uh, Harold and Maude. Uh, wow. Come back if you want some more. We're going to be diving deep. We have 49 more uh, rom-coms <laughs> on our list. And um, I hope that they're gonna surprise us just like this one. This yeah, one. Yeah, I'm a, I'm more optimistic about. This yeah. Now. Well, I mean, like this and this one, obviously, we'd never had seen before. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be a different kind of vibe when it's something that we are familiar with. But hopefully, new things come out. But yeah, no, I'm I'm actually really excited about what is to come. So, um, we'll see you next time. <laughs> see ya.